Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing how to use variables inside Postman queries. So in my previous video, I recorded to show how we could use a REST API with Postman. And what we were using is a system that would produce quotes. So I can query what's currently on the server, and we can see here quotes 0 through 7 are on the server. Um, importantly, what I can do is I can query one of the quotes. So I can query what is quote with ID 2. And it sends me back, that's Spock, live long and prosper. Now this too, of course, relates to the two in my uh, URL here for my endpoint, and that's currently kind of a magic number. Um, it's just something I type in, I happen to know what it is, but you can imagine as I develop more and more complex queries, that's going to get a little bit more tricky to manage. So instead of being a magic number in my query, I probably want to make it a variable, something with semantic meaning. And that way, if I'm dealing with a complex query, say a course ID giving me a building ID, giving me a room ID, if I've got a very long, complex query like that, I want to give each one of those magic numbers a name, rather than just being that number in my string. So let's do that. I've got a, a collection that I'm inside of, so I'm going to click on the dot 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 for the collection, and go down to Edit, and then I'm going to go to Variables, and I can start typing in the variables. So I'm going to call this one Quote ID, and I'll give it an initial value of 2, because that's what we're currently at. Uh, make sure there's a check mark here, otherwise it'll deactivate your variable. I'll click OK, and then I can replace the magic numbers wherever I want with the variable name. And so here we can see actually that uh, Postman is giving me some heads up on the different options, so I'll take that. I want the quote ID. Uh, note that sometimes it fails to give me the, the heads up on that, and it still works anyway. So if it doesn't show up for you, that's fine. So let me do this. I'll send it, and we can see that it gave us the correct one. I'll go in and edit my variable, and so without changing the query, I'll change the current value of this to 3, send this, and it now gives me ID of quote, quote ID 3. I can use this uh, variable in a lot of places, so I've got another one here that's going to generate me a new quote, I can do a post, and so for example I'll send Bugs Bunny and then quote ID, and now we're going to put that in the general data and it comes back with Bugs Bunny 3 if I happen to want that. So this can be useful if I was trying to, say, refer to something, maybe I have a, a quote, quote, uh, an ID or something like that I need to refer to, and I can put it into here as part of my JSON. And now, of course, in this case, it's not relevant because my system is not looking for it, so it completely ignores it. Uh, but that would be possible as needed. Okay, thank you very much for watching.